YouTube. It's time to make the lamb stew. I'm going to use some potatoes, the lamb stew meat, onions, rosemary, thyme, creole seasoning, white wine, some nor bouillon cubes, and some California blend bird's eye vegetables. I'm going to saute the meat, onions, and potato in the pan and then toss uh, all of it into the crock pot with the exception of the vegetables. I'll save the vegetables for about the last 40 to 45 minutes of cooking. I figure this dish ought to require about four hours in the crock um, and I'll make a gravy sauce um, toward about the middle of the cooking time to let it simmer in the gravy. See you back with some progress reports. Putting in the meat now. Just put a little sear on it. Then I'll put the potatoes in and the um, onions. Caramelize them a bit before they go into the slow cooker with uh, about two cups of water, um, a couple of bouillon cubes, more um, thyme and rosemary and about a cup of the white wine. I'll let them, let them cook for about two hours and then make the gravy sauce and add the California blend vegetables. We'll have a lovely dinner. Let's see. Wanna turn the meat probably a couple of times. Get it just like I want it. That one has a bone on one side, so. Let them sear a bit. So they have a nice brown color on them. And we'll see you back with a progress report soon. Here are the potatoes. I've seasoned them with salt and pepper. And I'm putting a little um, heat on them with some butter. Um, it's going to be a bit of a rustic stew since I've left the skins on. They're just about ready to go into the pot. The lamb is already in the pot with some wine and some bouillon cubes and about two cups of water. Let me show you that. Here's the lamb simmering in the crock pot. Um, it's uh, not quite enough water, but it's enough for the lamb right now. Once I add the potatoes and the sautéed onions, I'll add a bit more water and a bit more wine. See you back soon. The onions are just about ready to go into the slow cooker also. Happy commented that it smells good already, so I must be on the right track. Uh, once I get the onions in, I will uh, set it on um, high and cook for a couple of hours and I'll check it. Hopefully it'll be ready to uh, make the gravy sauce. If so, I'll make the gravy sauce, simmer it for about another half an hour, and then um, if it's time, I'll put in the California blend vegetables, which consists of broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. Then I'll let it cook for about another uh, 45 to um, 50, 40, 40 to 50 minutes. So, let's get going. See you back soon. Here are the um, lamb shanks, potatoes, and onions in the slow cooker. Every time I transfer some ingredients from the skillet, um, I rinse the skillet with a little bit of water and pour that water into the pot to um, and make sure I got the best of the flavor for the crock pot ingredients. I'll cook this for a couple of hours and revisit it in order to determine if it's time to make the gravy sauce. See you back soon. I'm back. I've um, poured the majority of the broth from the slow cooker back into my skillet and brought it to a boil. I've got a slurry of about three quarters of a cup of water. Uh, three tablespoons of um, flour and three tablespoons of cornstarch 
that I'll add to thicken and I'll stir it a while let it thicken up and simmer for about 10 minutes and then I'll add it back to the slow cooker um, to simmer for about another hour and I think um, that would be just about perfect to speed up the process I have um, put the California blend vegetables from bird's eye um, and that's uh, broccoli cauliflower and carrots in the microwave so that they're already soft I have gotten so many compliments on the aroma wafting through the house that lamb sauteing in the pan with that rosemary butter and uh, thyme with salt and pepper started it and then sauteing the mushrooms and the potatoes it was almost too much <laughs> for my household members to take it smells so fabulous so now um, I've got this uh, gravy sauce wafting through the house um, I best come up with dinner pretty soon so pre-cooking the vegetables in the microwave will assist in accomplishing that goal I think that dinner will be ready in about an hour so my gravy is looking good I've lowered the heat to medium low I'll simmer it for about 10 minutes put it back in the slow cooker and hopefully we'll have a beautiful result to show you pretty soon Saturday night's dinner of lamb stew is ready we got a pretty nice result the gravy turned out pretty nice and the plate has already been approved by hubby he said it looks delicious so dinner is ready I hope you'll try this recipe and enjoy it too thanks for watching and we'll see you next time